welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the 3D French look that seems to be becoming popular. So I'm doing everything with acrylic and I'm going to show you in a second what I'm using. This is a light elegance finish file that I had. I thought it would be great for doing that reverse French. And it really was because they're, they're a board, they're really thin. So I'm using my number 10 Glitter Bells acrylic brush. I'll also be using Glitter Bell Snowdrops White, which is their whitest. I'm using Barbie Candy, which is a really pretty, pretty pink. Pinker Bell Cover Shimmer. So this is what the Reverse French is made out of. And this is, this is a really, really, really nice base. So the trick here is to do your Reverse French as I've done. Lay down your pink really, really thin and really flat against that filed edge. So I'm working pretty wet here, um, but I actually, funny story, start to get a little bit discouraged and I'm going to tell you why as I'm, you know, voicing this over as the video goes along. So I struggled with this. You can see me struggling with the lines. I'm struggling with like all of it. Um, when I went to file the reverse French, I was like disturbed by how it felt under the file. I've been doing nails for a really long time. Like what is going on? Is it too cold in here? Is it's not raining? Why is my brush so wet? Oh my God, so many questions, so many questions. So two hours later, and a huge struggle, I discover that I'm using odorless monomer that I've never purchased. So somewhere along the way through my orders, I have gotten some Ugly Duckling odorless monomer and I do not enjoy it. So here is a really good angle at like how thin the pink is versus my edge. So it just barely needs to lay down. I'm coming in with my glass slippers, which is the Glitter Bells Clear. I didn't show you that in the beginning, sorry. But this glass slippers is the clearest clear. It's actually the first clear that I've ever really liked, um, especially until tonight when I started questioning my entire career. Um, by the time I was done this, before I realized I was using odorless, I was like ready to go, you know, be a waitress or a receptionist or any other job in the world other than doing nails anyway. It's all good now. So I'm coming in and I'm just putting like an even, an even layer and it's taking me a while to build it up um, again because of the odorless. It shouldn't have, I don't know why I didn't check that sooner but anyhow. Um, so it is taking me a bit. This is on two times the speed so I do have it sped up uh, but I'm just getting that edge sharp as I can with my brush. I am building it up and then what I have cut out here, edited out, is me looking at it because I'm, uh, it's from the side, from the front, I'm moving the hand all around, trying to make sure that that is even. I don't actually do any reverse French, I just don't do them that way. So. That was kind of something that, not that I necessarily struggled with it, but it was like a different thought process, trying to, trying to build those edges. So again, I'm going to show you. So that is application, and then this is the filing afterwards. So that close-up you just seen was just the application. If you want to buy any of these colors or the Glitter Bell stuff that you're seeing here, you can buy it at the Nail Throne. And if you use my code Liquid Chrome, you can get 10% off. So this is my ready guana hand if you're wondering what just happened there. <laughs> I, sh I should have warned you about that. Disclaimer. It's a red iguana hand. Her nails come off. These hands are great. If you've ever been on the fence about them, just go ahead and do it. It's worth the investment. So now I'm laying down the Snowdrops White and I'm doing the same exact thing that I did with the Barbie candy. Um, I'm trying to bring it kind of like out to where I want it. I wasn't sure exactly if I wanted it the same width as the pink or different. I just kind of split the difference. 
because truly the end look of this wasn't actually as important to me as just getting the process. So that's kind of what I'm doing here is getting the process. I see things in the end pictures that are stuff that I would fix. Um, but the things that I would fix are certainly things that were probably from the odorless monomer. So I, I really don't like that, but I am going to refilm this. I just really wanted to get this on camera because this was my first time doing this. So I wanted to be able to show you guys. I wanted to be able to show the struggles um, because sometimes that's what we don't see. And it's nice to see the struggles so that you know you're not the only one that can't read the back of a bottle. <laughs> I'm not going to get over that anytime soon. This all just happened tonight. So I was just kind of in a hurry to get home and edit this because I really wanted to get it out there to you. If you're one of my returning subscribers, thanks so, so much for supporting my channel. It really means a lot. If you're new here for the first time, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell because I am trying to upload a lot more, but it's not always on the same consecutive day just yet. So if you hit the bell, you'll be notified. So I've done the white super thin, same idea, and then I'm coming back in with my clear and I'm doing like the same thing. I'm making sure it's built up, making sure it's even clear through, wiping it, wiping it, wiping it while it dries, trying to make sure that you have like the sharpest edge possible pre-filing. Like you can fix it with a file, but you don't always want to do that. So the tutorials that I have watched before had not been with acrylic. They had been with gel polish and acrogel. Um, I did have clear Ugly Duckling, Velveteen, but I just didn't want to use that because that's not how I roll. I do everything with acrylic and with gel polish, so I just, I really wanted to try it with acrylic. And part of me wanted to try it with acrylic because I couldn't find any videos of people that were. So, you know, sometimes I like to go against the green a little bit, but. Um, so I'm building up the clear, trying really hard to, I can't believe that happened. Okay, I'm going to let it go now, letting it go. And then once that dries, I'm going to file it again, um, as I did with the first one. I'm going to make those edges really, really, really nice and sharp. Because that's kind of what you need for that shadow. You can start to see the shadow between the pink and the white. I was getting really excited at this point that it was working. And like I said, there were a few discrepancies here and I'm very well aware of them, but I do think that this is just, this is the idea. This is what I'm going for. This is definitely going to work. It's going to take some practice. I don't think this is something that you just kind of do the first time. Not for me anyhow. So I'm basically repeating the same steps over and over. You can see that I'm coming in and filing the the, the shelf, the line. You're pretty much simply doing a reverse French over and over, except you're adding a really thin layer of, whether it's gel polish or whether it's the acrylic, underneath. So I have a couple photos at the end of the finished product. I was able to get a couple. It was hard to get at, it was really hard to get an angle where you could really see the 3D of it. You could see it in person. Um, I was finding it really hard. So I'm hoping next time I do these, I will uh, film them because I will be correcting things that I thought didn't go as well as they could have here. Um, but I'm gonna try to get the proper angle to take a picture. I found it difficult. So coming in with the clear again, and I was just fading this into the tip. I knew there was going to be a fair amount of filing to do. I wanted it to hit the white shelf in front of it, but I wanted it to be thin enough at the base for, obviously, the tip. I do show you some of my finished filing. I don't show you the whole thing just because it is just plain finished filing. 
I did do some with the drill first with my e-file and my Atwood Industries bit. And I can't think right off what the name of the bit was, but it was for finished filing. If you go to my Liquid Chrome Nails Instagram, you can see a full picture of the red clean nails that I'm wearing in this video. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions on how you've done it and how it's worked out, let's start a thread, a conversation about it. This can be a place where people can come to figure out how we've all figured it out. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.